This is the packaging of X-23 in her X-Force colored costume. And this is part of the Deadpool wave and the Sasquatch builder figure. And gonna open this up and continue the review. This is X-23 out of the package. And it has the torso of the Sasquatch Builder figure part and this would be a separate review and onto the figure itself X-23 a clone female version of Wolverine this is the X-Force costume that she has on she's always had different costumes but nothing that's been really permanent in terms of her signature look that I would say the standout feature is she has two claws on each hand, but not three like Wolverine. She has a claw on the feet as well, but this action figure does not have it, which is a bit disappointing that it doesn't have that. It's not something she normally uses in battle. But the two claws here, what's really nice is if you're careful, you can remove the claws. So you get a closed fist if you remove the claws. But what also really stands out is the hair. Usually Hasbro doesn't make dynamic hair sculpts like this. Look at that. Like it's blowing in the wind. You can even see a little bit of the ear. And the mask is sculpt detailing. It's not just painted on the face. But these costume parts are painted on. You see the grays on terms of the black separation that's painted on it's not sculpted as separate parts in terms of the detailing it has a loose belt here which has some sculpting on it the X for X-Force or X-Men type symbol and you can see the boot design straps over here I'm going to put the claws back on. It does look pretty good overall. The detailing, the look and design, even though the costume looks pretty plain and simple. For X-23 over here. It is about five and three quarter inches tall. As for the articulation, the head on a ball joint. The hair does get in the way a bit on the side here. But it can turn to the sides, up or down. Ball jointed shoulder area can go in or out, up or down. But there is no swivel biceps, so nothing there. And one articulation point at the elbows, and you can spin it, does not have two articulation points there. And the wrists can go in, out, you can spin it. The torso, upper body. To the sides can go up or down range not too much and surprisingly no waist articulation so nothing there only the upper body there hips on a ball joint side to side up or down swivel thighs it has double knee articulation and it has calf articulation at the boot area top and the ankles on a ball joint up down to the sides and so this is X-23 and I'm going to give my final thoughts about it in a moment she only has two claws on the hands but there's another claw on the feet which this action figure does not have so it might be disappointing for some that it's missing the claw on the feet but with that said this is a fantastic figure the one thing that really stands out as a surprise is the hair on the head sculpt, the way it's flowing like that, very dynamic, very detailed. And Hasbro usually doesn't make hair sculpts like that, which is all dynamic. And the costume design is nice for that X-Force look, because she's had many different costumes in the comic books. Nothing really permanent, I would say. So this is definitely a nice addition for the character. Plus it has an X-Force look if you want to add other members to the team. Nicely detailed, well done. The only thing is it lacks any accessories. It doesn't have 
any other parts or swap out hands or anything like that. And so that's it for this review. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.